Oh, not Aunt Elsa, secret playtime. It was a beautiful day in the little kingdom of Arendelle, and not one but two visiting ships were entered in the harbor. King Argoner and Queen Induna stood proudly in the castle country yard, greeting their guests. If all went well, Arendelle would have two new trade partners by the end of the visit. Upstairs in the castle, Princess Elsa and Princess Anna stared in disbelief at their breakfast. We get chocolate just because there are some fancy visitors? Anna asked. I suppose we could refuse to eat it, Elsa teased. No, Anna said, chomping into her chocolate croissant. Elsa, can we play with the magic? We're supposed to stay in our rooms and not disturb the guests, Elsa said. Elsa, please, Anna begged. We could hide. They won't ever see us. Okay, Elsa agreed. Let's play, but we have to be very quiet. The sisters sneaked into the castle's grand hallway. Elsa raised her hands high into the air. Whoosh! The floor and railings were instantly covered with glistening ice. Whee! cried Anna. She slid across the floor. When the king and queen brought their visitors inside, Anna and Elsa quickly tiptoed away. Nobody saw them or the last bits of melting ice. That was a close call. Elsa whispered to her sister, We need to be careful or we'll get in trouble. Okay, said Anna, but can I? But can you use your magic to make some ice statues? Please, Elsa? Elsa paused for just a second and created a beautiful ice statue. And then she made some more. The sisters squealed with delight. And now we would like to show you some of Arendelle's best artwork. The king said from the hallway. Anna and Elsa looked at each other and gasped. They raced out of the art room and fled to the kitchen. The king and queen led their guests into the art room. Anna and Elsa were gone, but their ice sculptures were still in place. Ah, I say, the baron of Snoop exclaimed. These statues are extraordinary, very advent grade. Hrumpf, his wife, his wife, the barons were less impressed. In the kitchen, Elsa cut loose. She filled the room with snow, ice, and colorful snowballs. The sisters had a bite, had a big, fun snowball fight. Think I can hit that pan? Anna shouted. She tossed a snowball at it. Woohoo! The girls were having so much fun, they almost didn't hear the king and queen arriving with the royal visitors. Anna and Elsa slipped out and ran up the, black, the back staircase before anyone saw them. When the king and queen entered the kitchen, there was surprise to see all the ice, but the royal visitors thought the colorful snowballs were wonderful. Oh my, this is just what we need on a warm summer day, explained the baroon, spooning the snow into a cup. You must try it, my dear. Harumph. The barona stared at her icy snack. Ah yes, the king chuckled. Ice is Arendelle's number one trade item. Indeed, we harvest lots of ice from the lakes up in the mountains, the queen added. There was no stopping now. Anna and Elsa ran through the rest of the castle. In the ballroom, Elsa made snowy hills for the girls to slide on. Then they made beautiful snow angels. Suddenly, they heard the guests approaching the ballroom. Uh-oh, Elsa cried. We'd better stop. Neither wanted to get in trouble, so they raced to their rooms. They almost saw us, Anna said, relieved. Meanwhile, down in the ballroom, the king and queen gasped when they saw the snowy hills and the oof. The barona slipped and landed in a pile of snow. Oh dear, the queen said. She and the king rushed to help their guest. Snow angels, the baronas cried out, looking around. I love snow angels. What a delightful surprise, I say, the baron the said, the chuckle. The kingdom of Arendelle stops at nothing to please its visitors. 
Soon everyone was enjoying the snow and ice. The king and queen couldn't have been more delighted. After the visitors had gone to their rooms for the evening, the king and queen went to check on their daughters. Both girls appeared to be sleeping sudden, soundly in Elsa's bed. But as soon as the girls were alone, their eyes popped open. Elsa, do you want to play? Anna asked, sitting up. Anna, we can't. We're already going to be in a ton of trouble tomorrow, Elsa said. Anna plopped back onto her pillow and sighed. Still, it was so worth it, the girls said together. The end.